Hey everyone, welcome aboard Tango Golf Foxtrot. Just going to go through something that we do every time we go IFR flying, and that's putting a flight plan into the Garmin 430W here. So we're in um, nav mode map page at the moment. So to put in a flight plan, let's say we're going down to Hamilton, which is about a 40 minute flight to the south of here from North Shore, NZNE, which is where we currently are. We hit flight plan, pop that to get a cursor, and start entering the, uh, the points on our route. The first point, so we're rotating the inner knob there, is Auckland AA. So that's the, uh, the Auckland uh, VOR. If we hit enter, it says, do you mean the VOR New Zealand, not the one in Tuvalu? Yes, we do. Enter, accept, and there's our first point, the flight plan. The track of 140 uh, magnetic. More or less, uh, more or less makes sense. Sometimes that can be one or two degrees different from what you have on your on your map. The next point from Auckland is a GPS uh, waypoint. Uh, it's defined in terms of latitude and longitude, and it's all a bit of a, a handful. So uh, they've called it Lakes. So we're going to go to Lakes as our as our next place. So L A K E. Lakes intersection, New Zealand. And if I was being super, uh, super efficient, and we were really going flying, I'd have a look at that latitude and longitude and make sure that it tallied with what I saw on my chart. Hit enter. I want the New Zealand one, not the Australian one. There it is. Accept. And the last waypoint I want on there is uh, HN, which is the uh, which is the beacon at Hamilton. We don't navigate to the airfield. Uh, we navigate to the uh, to the airfield beacon, Hamilton. There it is. Enter. There you are, New Zealand, enter, accept, and then finally to tell the uh, the GPS that we're headed to that airfield to land, and I'll tell you why that's important in a minute, we're going to go NZ HN. There it is. So now just looking through our track here, we've got uh, 140 to Hamilton, which would make sense, 134 to Lakes, 133 on to... Uh, onto Hamilton and NZHN. Well, there's a funny little track between the two because the uh, the VOR and the airfield reference point are in slightly different places. So once we get there, we want to do an instrument approach because, hey, look at the weather. We need to uh, to tell the box that. We know from uh, checking the ATIS, it's unlikely to change. They've got a southerly down there and they're using runway 18 left and we want to do the RNAV approach there. So I hit my key PROC, which means procedure. And my choices are select approach, select arrival, uh, select departure. So I'm going to go ahead and select approach and looky there, the runway uh, 18 left Zulu is the one I want. So I hit enter. And I'm going to go via Apaxa, which is uh, the first point on the approach. Enter. And I'm going to go to load, not activate. If I said activate, it would uh, point me to Apaxa right now. So load. And then finally, we go back and uh, check the entire flight plan to make sure that everything's in there. So from North Shore, we're going to go to Auckland, to Lakes, Hamilton, Hamilton. Hmm, that doesn't look quite right, does it? Because we don't want to do all that. What I want to do is go from Lakes to my approach at Apaxa. So what I'm going to do is just take a couple of these points out. So goodbye, NZHN. You're gone. So when we fly the uh, when we fly the approach, when we fly the route, we're not going to really go from Lakes to Hamilton to Apaxa. At some point, we're going to get a clearance from Lakes direct to Apaxa, and when that happens, I will just go down and go Apaxa direct activate, and it will give me a uh, direct to. And if I look back at my uh, my flight plan. You can see the little arrow there, little uh, purple arrow pointing directly to a Paxa. So that's how we load a, uh, a flight plan into the Garmin 430 and uh, and fly IFR here in the uh, in the Piper Arrow. Thanks for watching.